So the other day I got this figurine in from uh, I ordered off of Amazon. It is Hazumu from Kashimashi and there she is finished. I say finished, she's not posable like my Sailor Moon figurine unfortunately. All it does is uh, the hat comes off and she comes with some uh, flip flops and you're like oh man that's so awesome I can at the very least put the flip flops on her but um, ended up messing up I don't know if it was supposed to uh, come off like that but yeah goes right back in thankfully but yeah it's one of those oh oh the funny thing there is no physical way that these shoes can even go on the toy like it's just the way the f it's designed it's just there's no part in the toe but besides that my personal opinion about this toy from Kashimashi um, also known as girl meets girl and uh, there's no H's after the S but I've often seen her romanize as Kashimashi or Kasimasi, I guess. Is what it's th is there. But yeah, that is a story. I believe the character is like 14 years old about a boy who gets hit in the face by a UFO. They reconstruct his body, but his chromosomes have been damaged, so he had to be resurrected as a or remade as a girl. And you know, it turns into a little bit of a harem anime. And I'll go into it lo uh, much more detail on my blog later. But yeah, um, they start to sell you with the sex. You know, for this figure has, uh, you know, the face so you know who she is. But then they have the boobs and the butt. Just so you, because uh, she can't do the pose where it's like, ooh, boobs and butt at the same time, yeah. Which they do in a lot of comic books. Because it's somewhat realistic depiction of a human body. But, um... This is my first one of this scale. Um, I'm much more used to this scale for Gashapons, but I guess this isn't a Gashapon. It's just a fi uh, figure. But um, what else about this figure? Oh, I find it really super creepy that she comes with this mirror base. That um, that way. You can check out the goods from different angles, and it feels very perverted. The um, image I saw posted on the internet, it wasn't as uh, perverted. They used a completely different base, which I thought that was the base it would come with. The character's pretty cute and innocent. You know, uh, she was a g really girly boy into floral, uh, you know, flowers and all kinds of stuff. But, yeah, this is the kind of uh, figure that you're like, oh, it'll be this small and, you know, it won't be weird to have it in my room. Which, all my other figurines are way bigger. Or way, way smaller. And, yeah, it just feels kind of dirty. Because you got that mirror base. If it wasn't for the mirror base, it would not be as creepy. I guess it is still pretty creepy, though, you know. But that is Hazumu Osaragi. I will want to say this. This is the second figurine that I got from Amazon within the last month. I don't really buy figurines from Amazon. But I don't think I will for much longer. Because I think it's mainly from UPS. But the boxes I always have been noticing have ended up kind of damaged. And if you're a collector... You won't want this huge crease going down your box. Like I was like, man, the way she looks, maybe I'll just keep it in box. But this made the decision for me. As a collector, you never want that decision made for you. Not that I'm a collector of sexy anime girls or anything like that. It was just I really liked the anime because it was so cute. That's pretty much all I have to say about Hazumu. Um, if you have never seen Kashimashi, I would strongly suggest watching it if you are okay with the fact that it is an anime series about tiny lesbians. Yeah. <laughs>